violent. Real faith has a desperateness connected. You ever been desperate before? Nothing else working, and you all you you come to the conclusion this is gonna work. And when you know it's work, you wanna attack it. Real faith has an aggressiveness joined to it. A real faith does. Real faith is bold and demanding. Real faith will not let go until it apprehends what it understands belongs to it. See the reason why the proud would never receive the Holy Spirit? They ain't passionate enough. They ain't hungry enough. They ain't thirsty enough. Yeah, real faith is violent, period. Because you have to get into a certain attitude, a certain mindset. Huh? Remember that woman had an issue of blood? Y'all see was walking through the crowd and everybody was thronging him and touching him? Y'all remember that? Hmm? And she said, and I said, but I could just touch the hem of his garment. She had a fight through men. She had a fight through being pushed. Yes, he did. Yes, he did too. Oh yeah. Yes, she had to be aggressive in order to get to the hem of his garment. Yes, he did. She had to get into the press. She had to move people out of the way. She had to push. Yes, she did. And shove. And as soon as he touched it, the master said, hey, who touched me? They said, hey, master, everybody has touched you. No, 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 no. Somebody touched me. I felt virtue going out of me. I felt power going out of me. So he started looking around. He looked around. He saw her. There you are. Are y'all listening? What is real faith like? Well, real faith is like a credit card transaction. You see, when you go online to order something, you put out your credit card for payment. Is that right? For certain items that you want. Now, as soon as the transaction clears and it says approved, that item already belongs to you. But you have not yet received it just yet. It's got to go to the shipping department. And then it's got to be on the delivery truck. Your credit card is the blood of Jesus. He already paid it all. He's already been approved. All you got to do is make the transaction. And then from there all you got to do is wait for it to be shipped. And then you even get a tracking number. When you get on your knees and say, how long is it going to be to deliver, Father? I'm going to wait until it comes. And then you wait in anticipation. You run to the mailbox. Did it come today? No. Oh, shoot. Man, no. It didn't come today. Oh, no. Surely. It'll be here tomorrow. Surely. You sitting there waiting all night long for that one item. That's what you're looking for. Did it come? No, no, it didn't come. You ain't, you, you're down a little bit, but you're still anticipating for delivery of your product. That's the same way you should be anticipating for your healing, your deliverance. Hallelujah. But the day you see that truck come up, you hear that certain noise. Ooh, whoop, there it is. Hey, hey. And ain't nobody happier than you. And don't worry, it's going to be delivered to you. 
I mean, the devil know it's coming. That's, that's why he creates a storm to delay the package. Because he's trying to wear out your faith. You get on the computer, you check it out. Oh, hell. A damn, a damn thunder. A, a whole winter storm, 12 inches of snow. <laughs> oh, man. What do you do there, Father? Move that snow so I can get my package. You want your request. You want what Yahshua paid for for you. But don't worry about it. He told you to be at peace in the midst of the storm. It's still coming. You remember in Daniel's day, he had already made a request. 21 days later, it didn't come. He still had to fight. The, 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 the angels had to fight to get in. To get the message in there, the fight to get out. You better believe the devil gonna try to break down the truck, crash the airplane. <laughs> he gonna do everything. See, anytime you want his power, his presence, his anointing to break yokes among us, begin to worship him, magnify him, glorify him extol him and reverence him and all of a sudden things that you couldn't feel in your flesh prior to conversion all of a sudden you're going to be feeling something you're going to feel a quickening going on in your body hallelujah you may feel heat you may feel fire huh you may feel something like the cold chills but it's an electric charge that's because that Holy Spirit is trying to come in and quicken your mortal bodies. Trying to show you what real life is. Let's talk about some electricity here for a moment, all right? See, electricity is a very real and unseen source. Power yet present and very powerful and very real, but it's unseen. This is how the Holy Spirit is. He is unseen, but yet very powerful and very real. You understand? Know and you ever had just a little shock before where the Holy Spirit will light you up? He will light you up. Why you think it always says the Holy Spirit and fire? Because he want to burn everything out of you. Everything out of you that is not pure. Everything in your present state, he want to burn it up inside of you. So therefore he can build on a new foundation and make it a new creature. He can't have the old ways places standing. He got to burn it all up. Even the prophets knew it. They said it's like fire. Shut up in my bones. Fire! Shut up in my bones. Can't hold myself. Why you think some people dance and run and shout? Because they got to do something because if they don't, they don't hit a kill them anyway. If natural fire hits you, your ass going to move. Let the Ruach hit you. <laughs> See, the way you connect to the Holy Spirit is faith. And remember what I said about what real true faith is. Remember what I said. Real faith is violent. Period. Real faith is aggressive. Aggressiveness. Desperateness. Bold. And real faith is not going to let go until it apprehends what it understands belongs to it. Now, what it, now hold on. We got a blind man by the name of Barnabas. He's sitting by the highway side, by the road, and his occupation was begging. That's what he did. Just begged. All of a sudden, he heard this, this profession, this procession coming. And he heard, just by listening, because he can't see that it was Jesus of Nazareth, 
he began to cry out. Mind you, blind man. By the side of the road. Begging. When he heard that Jesus was coming, he began to cry out. You see what Brian Barman is doing? He heard it was Jesus. He's making a noise. Jesus! Jesus, son of David! Have mercy! Have mercy on me, Jesus! There's a lot of people around. See, he cried out. You and your golf cap and trying to receive the Holy Spirit. to receive something but you're putting in little Jesus now son of David have mercy on me yeah the book said he cried out he said he cried out I'm going to show you how people going to do when you start crying out. Man, won't you shut your mouth, man, making all this noise. Just shut them, hold your peace, man. Stop making all this dang noise. Quit making this ruckus. Read. But he cried the more. Great Jesus! Jesus! I can see blind of all the man's right now. Jesus! Jesus! Son of David! Jesus! And I'm going to say it again too. And he cried out. They tried to stop him. He cried the more. Uh, real faith is violent. Real faith is aggressive. Real faith is bold. Huh? Y'all let them know and break them yokes. And Jesus heard that and all of a sudden he stood still. He heard blind bar is crying out. All of a sudden, he just stood still. Read. And commanded him to be called. And he commanded him to be what? To be called. In other words, look at the action that blind bar went to that stopped the Messiah in his track, got his attention. See, you're going to have people that's always going to try to stifle you. You're going to have people always trying to tell you to shut up and be quiet. Have peace and stop making all this damn noise. It ain't no big deal. You don't have to do all that. The more they say that, the more you ought to scream and holler. Until you hear his call. Read. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. Hey, Barmaeus, you be of good comfort. You got his attention. We coming to get you to bring him to you. So get up. Come on. And he, casting away his garment. He did what? <laughs> cast it away his He threw garment. down the thing that kept him bound also. His old garment. Huh? Threw down them rags. I'm coming. Read. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? Now you already know that Yahshua know what he needs. 
but what does the prophet say you make your request known to Yah the prophet Isaiah teaches us yes Yah you say you declare thou that thou mayest be justified in other words you open up your mouth you say what you want I already know what you have need of before you even ask, but I gotta hear you make a request. Make your request now. Read. The blind man said unto him, Master, that I might receive whoa, my whoa, whoa. sight. Whoa, Master, reverence, respect. Approached in all. Master, I just want to receive my sight. Read. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Now wait a minute. Go thy way. Your eyes is open. It didn't say that, did it? It says, Go thy way. Thy faith. faith. What you believe for me to do for you, he didn't tell him that his eyes was open. He said, go thy way, thy faith. Your belief has made you what? Whole. Whole, just like the ten lepers. As they went, they were healed. One returned to give thanks. And he was made every bit whole. You get it? All of a sudden, read on. And immediately. And immediately. Come on. He received his sight. Wait a minute. He didn't say receive your sight. He said your faith has made you whole. Bing, I see. Boy, you can't beat that. Uh, wait a minute. This time he didn't take no dirt. Spit on the ground. Huh? Put it on his eyes. He's like, man, I ain't never seen so much faith. What kind of faith was that? Jesus! Master, Savior, Son of David! Yeah, faith. Faith. That thing you called an undignified, uncouth attitude. That thing where you said them people are beside themselves, they crazy and gone mad. Yeah, faith has made you whole. Read on, bro, Shane. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Y'all hear that? Well, I got healed. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm falling. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do. Ain't nothing else to do. I was on a blind path. Now I can see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was blind, but now I can see. So I'm walking in the light. Because he is the light. Hallelujah. I hope y'all getting this. See what I told you about faith. You gotta break all these yokes that church put on you. All these yokes that life have taught you. you gotta break all these heavy bands so he can be able to lift up holy hands. You gotta undo all this pre-programming that's gotten you nowhere. Hallelujah. Oh, Pastor Dow, you just trying to get everybody stirred up in emotion. In other words, faith is aggressive. Faith is bold. Faith is violent. When that woman pressed through that, that press for the hem on the garment, but I'm telling you, she was crawling, hand, knees being knocked down, pushing everything else. She wasn't going to let nothing stop in her. See what stops you when you're too dignified? Huh? When you're too pious. You're so religious, you ain't no good. I'll tell you what, when the Holy Spirit hits you, I'll tell you what. When you stick your finger in an electric socket, you're gonna know what the Holy Spirit feel like for sure. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. See how powerful the message still is. 